And we're back. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome. To another week at Blue News and Reviews, where you're 4K Kings. I'm Matt. I'm Russ. And this week, we'll be talking about Evil Dead. We'll be talking about Mahalan Drive in 4K, as well as Casino Royale from Titans of Cult, and much more. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. We're really grateful and thankful for you to have clicked that subscribe button and follow along with what we're doing each week. We are getting closer to our 1,000 sub goal. We inch closer every single week, so thank you again for everybody that is interacting with our page, telling friends, sharing our videos, and hitting the like button whenever you feel the need to. Another big milestone for the channel, we finally reached 50,000 total views, so thank you to everyone for making that happen. Again, all of our followers out there and people that continue to check out our content. Thanks for bringing that new milestone our way. Also an update on our last contest that we held and we announced that Alex Villeneuve was the winner. Well, we finally got all of our shit together and we're now going to be mailing out a nice little care package courtesy of your 4K Kings. Russ, why don't you show Alex what he will be receiving? Alex will be receiving this beautiful 4K Kings t-shirt. What? 4K Kings merch? 4K Kings merch. We're moving up in the world. Oh hey, God. once you hit 700 subscribers, the merch is inevitable. Merch is inevitable. You will also be receiving this nifty, cool, little long live physical media sticker. Love it. Courtesy of 4K Kings. Love that too. Uh, obviously the message needs to get out there. We need to support our community and support the movies we love. Alex will also be receiving this Severin limited edition, limited only to 3,000 copies, the Paganini Horror, brand new, still factory sealed. So congratulations, Alex, for everyone else who is watching. If you would like to win uh, limited edition Blu-rays and cool merch, just keep watching. A couple of other interesting news stories this week, Russ. Zavi, continuing, I guess it's world domination, has now not completely bought out Blue Underground, but is now carrying their uh, their releases, and they're also going to be doing um, some limited releases with them as well, which kind of similar to what they do with Arrow, I suppose. So I don't know if that's good news or bad news for Blue Underground fans. Blue Underground, I say it every chance I can, has that nasty habit of double dipping immediately. Well, they're right at home at Zappy, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's it. Great releases, yeah. definitely a cool company, but that practice, I think, stuck into a, uh, a lot of fans' crawls. I'm sure Zavi's going to find a way to milk you a little bit more for those exact uh, same 4K releases just in some, you know, some kind of collector set that only they have the money to produce. Somebody like a Blue Underground can't probably put together all this stuff as often as Zavi can, or maybe if, if at all. So soon you'll get your zombie 4K with a poster, art cards, and a little uh, perfect well, bound book. I mean, what else are they going to do? That's the only thing left. It would be statuettes, trinkets, photo card, lobby. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's what I mean, zombie. Now it's in 4K. It's, yeah. yeah. But, it makes me sad, though. I, I don't want to see Zavi just become the de facto physical media home for all releases that inglorious bastards true romance the car even carlito's way limited limited 3000 edition if you're not on the internet at this time you will not receive it blah, yeah. blah, blah. I, i'm not a fan of that i think it, the practices need to be a little more loose and that doesn't feel like what blue underground is about you know it's no. like it's like a vinegar syndrome where somebody all of a sudden has these like crazy collector sets that are only exclusively at zavi and it's only to it's like yeah. that's not their mission statement really i mean i know you even famously said their mission statement is to make money, which of course it is, but it just doesn't seem on brand for them to be released by this gigantic conglomerate that is Zavi. Well, speaking of more classier outfits, Kino Lorber just announced and is now launching a streaming service. And a lot of companies, um, or a lot of the labels that we love, like Criterion, Arrow, Shout, or Screen, they all have streaming services somewhere or another, but I wasn't aware of one from Kino. And when they were announced, I actually, I don't know, I was kind of surprised to see what they were showing that they would, the, the angle they were going for their streaming channel. Um, but maybe Russ, you tell me, maybe I'm off here. This is it. Yeah, I wasn't familiar with really any of that, but um, I do like, it's pretty cool that it's free, completely free. They do run ads on it, but it's completely free to watch. 
Yeah. Another nice little option. Good for you, Keno. I mean, there. what did you think about what they were showing as far as their selections? I didn't recognize a damn thing in that trailer. I know. It's pretty wild, some of the shit that's in there. I mean, I, I guess that's what they're going for. It's all cult. It's all drive-in type stuff. And then last up, Russ, one of our loyal subscribers and one of our very first to join us here at the channel, Mark Vaccaro, sent us a little package. He's family. He's yeah, family. he is family. And he sent us a package. We're busy sending out stuff, and he actually sent us something. So We won the contest to Mark's heart. We did, and we want to really thank Mark. And we're going to open up what he sent to us right now. Mark knows how to pack a box. What do we got here? Oh, impeccably oh, wrapped. Uh, dude, I love buying and selling and exchanging with people who actually collect. They they pack stuff beautifully. They know how to wrap. They do. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, shit. I did not wow. think it was that. The 88 Films Short Circuit 2. Wow, Mark. Damn. Look at that set. You Ooh. really shouldn't have. And Mark. I, I didn't pick this up, and I regretted it. I actually thought about that. Wow, that is a legit-looking set right there, my friend. Yes, and we did cover this. Dude, I, I we didn't, did cover this. We uh, we didn't realize that this, so this was the, uh, the movie that got you into us. So this will always hold a special place in our hearts. Thanks, man. That's really yeah, awesome. Thanks. Let's see what else... What else is Mark? Can I see that us? short circuit? No, you may He's, not. Mark sent it to me also. Show. There you go, man. <laughs> Dude, this is really nice. Mark, you got one of these too? What? Wow. Uh, Mark got his true romance. <laughs> yes. No. Thank wow. you, Mark. Seriously, this one. It's here. Man. This one touches me. This is, yeah. the, this is the one that got away from me. I'm surprised this channel lasted beyond that video where Russ did not get that. There really felt like there was a rift in his loyalty to this community, to the his spirit for wanting physical media at all. Yes, uh, Matt knows I threatened to quit numerous times. Thank you, Mark, for bringing us back together again. Our yeah. show will be that much better now that this is in Russ's heart and home again. Thank you man. so much. You you make us feel like slouches for what we gifted you for winning the contest. For real, for real. Um, Alexander Villeneuve, don't get any ideas. This isn't even close to what you're getting, my friend. Sorry. Uh, but Mark, thank you. You are a true friend that cares enough about us and this community to mail this stuff from Canada to the United States. We thank Actually, you. Actually, yes, and I know that is not cheap. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you for being a friend of the show. If you're half as cool as Mark, hit that subscribe button, like this video, share this page with your friends, and keep supporting physical media.